And it's because of those HOAs, like uh, Shelly's pointing out, that you end up with these bland, generic fucking residential developments where everything, I mean, it, it, it's like a, a vinyl-sided Potemkin village. Comrade, are you saying that you want to be different? <laughs> and then of course they have the the appearance of security because they normally have a little security booth and uh you know speed bumps you have to drive over to get into that little gated community but they quit paying for a security guard and the gate just stays open so even those are there's a keypad and a guard shack yeah i don't pay for all that shit you know, drive around the fucking pothole. That you're you know, I, well, you at the same condominium, <laughs> I ain't. You don't need people for that. At, at the same time, I see them building these developments with no buyers for the houses. And how long do they sit on the market before you know the Black Rocks come buy them up anyway? And then they are lease houses within a development that some people own. Well, hell, a lot of these properties and buildings going up are just spec buildings, like you say. And they just add it to the portfolio like some fucking penny stocks because the largest land loaners, the largest landlords in the country at this point are all fucking banks. Banks are not supposed to be realtors. It's not supposed to work that way. And there's so much speculation in real estate now that the market has no relation to reality. I mean, it's just going mean, to, I argue the housing market moment. never had any relation to reality, but no, that's just me. The housing market is the preferred method of laundering illicit money since, um, well, just physical property in general. I mean, literally, what, since what the hell do you think the, the fine art market is built off of? 